Hey, what's going on everybody? Nick here from Smack Rock, and today we got something uh, a little bit different. As you can see, I'm on my druid, and we're in the... we're actually in Slave Pens. Yeah, we're on the PTR, and uh, this is actually the Time Walker Dungeons. So as you can see, um, when we're out of combat, we are level 70, but in reality we're level 100, obviously. And basically, in this video, I wanted to um, just give you my uh, impressions and what I think of the Time Walker Dungeons. Uh, I just I only did one because um, you know PTR is kind of buggy sometimes and all that good stuff but um, we're in slave pens and I'm healing obviously as you can see and from the first like 10 minutes of the Time Walker Dungeons it was very easy. Um, it posed no threat to us um, there's little to no challenge to it. The only thing that I see that could be used for this is gearing up your alts. Um, considering that it drops 660 blues, and the blues aren't all that great, but um, as you all know, you can all make crafted items and just upgrade them to, you know, in 6.2 you're going to be able to upgrade them like two or three more times. So, the, uh, the 660 blues aren't uh, the best, but I, I would say if you're hurting for gold and you really don't want to spend all that all that gold to make your crafted items, this would be the best thing for you. Even though they only appear as events, and um, I think they are weekly. I don't. Really, I'm not really sure. I haven't done much research on them, but they are cool. You know, they give you a nostalgic feel. Uh, you're doing you know old school BC and rat dungeons. Um, I did read that they want to eventually expand this to Kata and Mop, which is um, a little weird, but I mean, I guess what I think why they're doing this is because they're really hurting for content right now, and this is just the easiest thing con considering that, you know, they have to do no real work and just scale down your level and everything, you know, they don't really have to make all new dungeons and all that good stuff, so... I think this is just a a very um, lazy idea for Blizzard. I mean, it is cool, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, man. Uh, at least make the blues a little bit better. Or and consider at the end of the dungeon, this was actually I actually got the heroic achievement since you know uh, my druid is not the same druid that I had in vanilla, so I didn't really do this. So, I got the heroic achievement, so I think if they actually had, if they actually made it heroic, so you got epics from it, or if they made a mythic version and you can get epics from it, I don't know. I think that would be cool. I did hear something around, I don't know if it was a rumor or anything, but they wanted to do mythic dungeons, and I think that would be pretty sick, because I, I really like five mans, you know, it's something to do, and it, you know, it's... It's a five man. I like five mans, but really, um, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, this is just my, you know, my thoughts on Time Walker Dungeons. They are a little bit of a waste. You know, they don't really give you anything if you're geared. Um, I mean, my druid isn't the most geared. You know, I just got back from a four month break, and um, I mean, I, I have some mythic gear from High Mall and Hero gear from Black Rock Fannery, but I'm not into mythic yet. But, like I said, I'm not the best geared, but the 660 Blues don't really do anything for me. So, um, if you want to see some more uh, more PTR stuff, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.